Hello and welcome. Today we are checking out a mod for Skyrim called Warden of the West. So, to get this quest started, what I had to do was go to a major city. Oh no, that's the wrong one. Just basic orders is what I'm looking for. And there were some... There were some mercenaries that tried to kill me, accused me of doing a bunch of bad stuff, and that's where we're at. Here is the agreed upon sum. You know what to do. The Dragon Board resides on Snowdrift Island, where he runs his barbarous cult. The isle is fortified, and his devotees patrol it relentlessly, restlessly. It may prove troublesome to do it there. Instead, I would suggest waiting until he can be found traveling abroad. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. So that's the thing. There is apparently a dastardly dragonborn. And we have been accused of doing the things he was actually doing. What's the alternative? Turn tail and flee. I will not abandon Iriel to such a fate. All I'm saying is that we don't have the manpower to start the place outright. There has to be another way. Your suggestion would sound like wisdom, where your judgment is not tainted with drink. Silence! We aren't alone. Okay, well, first things, dialogue, subtitles, general subtitles, there we go. Stay your hand. What purpose have you in this desolate land? Are okay. You the servants who lay at our feet? Roland of Astora just rolling up like this? Okay. I'm just out for a stroll. No, we'll be honest. Someone claims to be the Dragonborn. I'm here to set the record straight. You're the true Dovahkiin. Yes, now I can see the resemblance. My heart rejoices to learn that the tales of your devilry were the doings of an imposter. If you also seek entrance into this false prophet's lair, then I believe our goals are one and the same. Why are you two here? Our leader ventured into this hideout hoping to find you. Instead, she wandered heedlessly into the gambit of a fraud. We were just working on a plan of rescue when you arrived. In truth, my associate and I are at somewhat of an impasse. He believes we should creep into this place like a vampire at sundown. There is no time for such subtleties. We should rush the entrance and cut down anything that stands in our way. Alas. Perhaps a third opinion is just what the gods have provided. Tell me, what does the legendary Dovahkiin suggest? Charge the place or your friend is right, we should sneak in. Well, let's just charge the place. I, that, that's probably fine. Then we will follow your lead, Dovahkiin. Here's democracy has failed me. At least we have the dragon board now. Let's see if the legends hold true. Oh. Perhaps you should sit this one out, Hayden. An intoxicated mind has no place in combat. Nonsense. I'm at my best after I kick back a few meats. Sharpens my senses and clears my mind, like opening a third eye in the midst of battle. Your logic is flawed, to say the least. Usually is, but that's not the point. I made Ariel a promise. If you two are going in, then I'm coming with you. Yes, I remember in the description of this mod, they described it as Bioware-style NPCs. And the way that the regard in the upper left changed based on my choice right there, I'm guessing these two are the first of, of the options for those. And we've got Lydia here as well. I, I am also decked out in Blades gear. Obviously, this guy is very, the very basic Nord. Oh, okay. All right. They're getting into it.
Oh, somebody's got to unlock the door? Okay, I'll try. They, they don't look very happy to see us. I did it. All right, everybody. Oh, God. Get in there. Oh, he got her. If they've got any potions, I'll take them. Okay, where is this map marker leading us to? Okay, it doesn't want us to go in the front door. We're going in the back. Okay. Oh, there's one. They're not super strong, which is nice. Divines be praised. Oh wow, it even says when they earn XP. Get up there. Dova, I think they were trying to surrender. Regard with Hayden increase. What did I do to earn that? That was an oversight. Maybe I should just let them take care of it. Right? Let let them get some XP. All right, I should heal. Having support spells would be nice with this mod. Where is that pointing me to? Definitely somewhere downstairs. Hardly worth our time. Hey, you stole my kill. I did. Aiden now considers you an acquaintance, okay. So it definitely was the right choice. Coming in here and just killing everybody. Because it seems to just be... Boosting the, uh... The regard higher and higher. This place is massive. Alright, let's find a way back downstairs. Oh, jeez, they got a bunch of food. Keep it up, Dover! Die! Where that came from.
Okay, I am gonna. Ha I'm, gonna I'm gonna find my way back downstairs one of these. One of these times. Here we go. Oh man, how am I gonna get past all of you? Come on, guys. The way? There we go. Was I in the way? You, you are. You, st you're still in the way. Please. once more okay this clearly will open up if I find a way to do so wait where's Hayden thought he was with you oh, that blundering goof is always getting himself into trouble Maybe he died? No, he definitely didn't die. In that case, we should search for the body. Did he die? A little help over here? That spike wall. It's not to be underestimated. How's that third eye working for you? Isn't mocking a less fortunate against your code or something? Warden of the Coast Companions will not recover from Bleed Out unless combat ends or they are revived. To revive a companion, simply activate them. Get up. Okay, that's cool. Oh, thanks. Word of advice. Don't step on tripwires. The ancient Nords were no proponents of safe living conditions. Right. Well, if you're done plastering yourself to the wall, let's get moving. Okay, that's cool. Definitely a nice addition. There's the lever. Okay. From Vermina Cultist to, to Ancient Nord Tombs. Got it. Oh dear God. Okay, good thing those were a one-time activate. Okay. Gotta be our, our third companion. There's something ahead. Requires key. Okay, let's look around. We killed that guy. No dead bodies over here. There we go. All right, everybody, step out of the hallway. Hey. Sure. Apologies, my liege. Thanks. It would have shown sooner had your pilot not been delayed. That's me, the on-demand scapegoat of this Operation Quest thing. Well, 
Infinite picks aside, I'm fortunate you arrived when you did. Who's the third? He is the Dovahkiin, my liege. The real one. Is that so? If what my companions say is true, then you're the one I've been looking for. You seem to match the descriptions well enough. I mean, all except... Except what? I guess I just thought you'd look more like me. Why would I? What, what are you? You're gonna be like, I'm your daughter from the future. What? What is this? First, I need to know that you are indeed the Dragonborn of Legend. I've already been conned once today, and it nearly cost me my life. Use the Thuom so I may confirm your identity. Then I'll explain why I sought you out. Behold the untamed and immeasurable power of the Dragonborn. Okay. You might want to cover your ears. Shouting doesn't prove I'm Dragonborn, that's true. Maybe not, but it's more than your imposter could manage. Okay, you might want to cover your ears. Any shot will do, so long as I can see that you possess the gift of Akatosh. Oof! Something on your mind? What, you want me to hit you with it? No, I don't want to teach you a spell. So it is true. You're my... Uh, well, you're the Dovahkiin. Guess the ploy got wrapped up and was intended for you. <laughs> oh my god, is it is it really gonna be like... I'm your daughter from the future. The Sigic Order sent me back in time. Any idea what this imposter wants with me? He stole your identity, hoping to lure you here and imprison you. Of that I'm certain. As for why, I can only speculate. I overheard a few of his subordinates mention the Daedric Lady Vermina, and something about a destiny. But I'm unsure how you fit into it. How did they capture you? I've been trying to track you down for weeks. When I heard you were held up on some island north of Dawnstar, I made great haste to get here. By the time I figured out this was the work of a fraud, the trap had already been sprung. Why were you looking for me? I have a... Wait, did you hear that? Keep them this way! The Dragonborn is upon us! What was that? Ah! Oh, Surrender or we'll suffer the consequences! Oh, good one, Lydia. This is but a taste of the force your imposter commands. We stay. I agree. Uh, with allow me to relocate. I was gonna say, awful close. I'll explain everything once we reach the surface. For now, we need to focus on getting out of here. Nice. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, so far, so far, this has been well done. Good voice acting. Well designed level. So far, so far it's checking all the boxes. Okay. Curses! It's frozen over. Must be another attempt to keep us contained. This will only take a second. Anyone who doesn't want their eyebrows singed should get clear. Oh, is she gonna shout? You know, I figured that was the solution to getting rid of that, but I didn't think she was gonna do it. Okay. I've got your back. You know the way of the voice? A few words. As I said, I'll explain when the danger has passed. Of course. Be like my father taught me.
Okay, where are we going? Big scary pit. So the hour of your arrival has dawned. I will make this offer once, Dovahkiin. Surrender your weapons and dismiss your allies, and we will execute you in a manner befitting your prominence. <laughs> Resist, and your death will linger in pain and torment. Why are you impersonating me? Lady Vermina has shown me a glimpse of your future, a fragment of the fate that awaits you. Oh, yeah. The choices you make will bring death, destruction, and ruin to countless innocents. There is no substitute. You must be stopped. If you think you can defeat me, you're welcome to try. So be it. Oh, jeez. Come on. Ah. Get out of here, ghost dog. Oh, jeez. Alright, give me my stuff back. There we go. I'm just gonna hide behind the throne. He can't get me back here. Let's see, do I have anything? Oh! Let's do that. Okay, anything else? Do I have any potions to help the situation? I'll eat the carrot. Put some some venom on my blade. Bunch of useless potions I made just to, just to sell to make money. There's some stamina. Alright, good enough. Oh. Somebody get him. Oh, I missed. got this, Liddy. I believe in you. There you go. <laughs> and so I see the air of my ways. I thought I could challenge the course of destiny. Save the lives that your rashness will lead to ruin. <laughs> my defiance is all for naught. Their souls are now doomed to wait upon the judgment of... <clears throat> Of Akatosh's chosen. What choices will I make, and how can I prevent the fate you saw? <sighs> there is no deviance from the will of the gods. My death has proven this. The divine, it would seem, have sealed your fate. When Vermina showed you the future, what did you see? <laughs> I saw fire, death, chaos. And there, in the midst of it, you stood, <laughs> channeling the destruction as you so desired, at the command of your <laughs> new lord. My new lord? <laughs> Lady Vermina, forgive me. Oh! <laughs> what a way to go! No more. Ah, shame, really. Seemed like he'd be an interesting side to grab a pint with. 
Any idea what he was talking about? Uh, no. I was hoping you were paying attention. Or it was another doomsday prophecy. I hear them all the time. Well, I suppose if you aren't worried about it, then neither am I. Let's hope his vision was either misinterpreted or simply a fallacy of the Daedric lady he served. In the meantime, we should search for an exit. We aren't out of this yet. Take that staff for sure. Okay. You can put away your sword, Lydia. Okay, we're out. Greetings. Now what? Yes. What is it you wanted to tell me? Right. Uh, forgive me if this seems out of place, but Imperial records state that you were orphaned at an early age. Do you remember anything before that? Anything at all about your birth family? Oh, is she actually gonna be like, I'm your sister? Not not not, not my future daughter. Please assume my parents were dragons. I have only faint memories of my family. I'm not sure I have a family. Be honest. I was orphaned, question mark? According to the records, yes. Though whether or not you were raised by a foster family afterward, I'm less certain. The information I attained was scarce, to say the least. Are you asking me? I just wanted to see how much you remember, if anything. I have only faint memories. I see. Perhaps I can help fill in the blanks. Aside from a birth registry, there was just one other document the Imperials had in their repository. A ship itinerary. On the year of your fifth winter, your family set sail on the SS Teviot. A boat that fell into rough waters and was lost near the Hunting Bay. Amidst the chaos, you were separated from your kin and ended up aboard a separate lifeboat. We've gone about very different lives since, isolated from even the memory of one another. Okay, what if I picked a Khajiit? Would you have been a cat lady? Yes, I... <sighs> Gods, how do I even say this? I'm... I'm your sister. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad you're not my future daughter. Why wait until now? I thought you were dead. A victim of the sea on the night of the wreck. Were it not for father's letter, I'd still believe that. You weren't the only one to have fallen astray when the SS Teviot was lost. I too was separated from our parents. I've been kept in the dark as long as you have. Until the letter. Our parents are in danger. They have no one to turn to. They marked the area of their residence on a map and pleaded for our immediate arrival. That's when I learned you were still alive. And of your status among the Nordic people. In great haste, I journeyed from High Rock to Winterhold to find you. Okay, but... This lady might be full of shit for reasons we don't know. But maybe she's telling the truth. A note that's the only evidence you have of our relation? I wouldn't have departed on such a journey if I disbelieved its authenticity. In some ways, the letter confirmed what I already knew, and in others, what my heart had always wanted to believe. When my lifeboat washed ashore, I thought my family had been lost forever. My only memory of them is the amulet of Akatosh that had etched in it four names. Our parents, yours, and mine. I clenched it so tightly throughout the storm that I nearly broke the chain. Not daring to loosen my grasp for fear the wind or waves would steal my family again. Only our parents would have known of this personalized piece of jewelry, and they mention it in the letter. I've already dealt with one fake dragonborn today. I don't need another. 
What kind of trouble are our parents in? That explains your relation to our, our... Even saying our parents. That explains your relation to our parents, not mine. If neither the note nor the amulet is enough, then must I mention the thuum? That wasn't a skill learned over years of practice or research. It was inherited at birth. A gift that only two mortals of this age share. Uh, that's a lot to wrap my head around. I'd have difficulty faulting you. I felt the same way when I received the letter. Learning that you were alive, and of our parents' dilemma, it was almost too much to take in. What kind of trouble are they in? They couldn't include many details. Likely out of fear the letter would be confiscated. I only know that they face a grave threat and require our aid. That's enough for me. Why'd they wait? They should have contacted us before they were in trouble. Where are they? The map points to a small ridgeline near the coastal border of High Rock and Hammerfell. The ship and crew I've assembled to take us there is waiting for us at the Solitude Docks. But for real, if I had picked an Argonian, would she have still had the same voice? Alright, I'll be there. The ship is docked in Solitude's Harbor. I'll make sure they don't leave without you. Oh, one last thing. After all this time, it's good to finally meet you. Okay, I'm still not sure about this whole... All right, we'll be nice. You too, uh, yeah. Anyway, we'd better not keep the crew waiting. I don't know how much longer my coffers will cover the dock fee. We'll set sail as soon as you're aboard. Lydia doesn't care about any of this. <laughs> she hasn't said a word to any of these people. Alright, guess you guys are gonna just start rowing. Meanwhile, I am gonna fast travel. Stay where you are. This will only take a second. I need to look into your eyes. Oh. Okay. Just stop moving around so I can see. Hmm. No signs of vampirism. Open your mouth. <laughs> You're creeping me out. The other middle option looked good too. I should have. I should have read what it said before clicking past it. Mm. This one's clear of lycanthropy, too. Now, for the Oath of Purity. Note that any form of deception will incite the wrath of Stendar, whose reach extends to all four corners of Tamriel. Now, repeat after me. I, state your name, do hereby solemnly swear. Alright, we're, yeah, we're, we're not gonna be sarcastic with her. I, Milo, do hereby solemnly swear that I have no intention to attempt the forbidden practice of Daedra worship. That I have no intention to attempt the forbidden practice of Daedra worship. I wonder what happens, like, if I had come here as a werewolf or a vampire, do you just not get to start the quest? That'd be crazy. So help me, Stendar. Yeah, sure. So help Stendar. May this oath bind me, and should I stray from it? Yep, yada yada. May Stendar have mercy on my soul, for the vigil will not. 
I get it. That wasn't so bad, was it? Welcome aboard. Oh, I see. It, it, she's just one of the Bioware companions, and. Oh, sorry about that. Catri can be a little zealous at times. It comes with being vigilant, I guess. But she means well. But yeah, it would have just decreased our standing with her if I had been one of those things. When are we leaving? Yeah, when are we leaving? We'll set sail as soon as you're below deck. Until then, feel free to meet the crew and get settled in. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to ask. Yes, my liege. Greetings! Ah, Dovahkeen. I heard about your duel with the mighty dragon of Whiterun. Though the dungeons of a madman were hardly the place to speak on such matters. I am honored to serve beside a warrior of your particular valiance and nobility. What did you do? To, what did you do before this? I traveled the land in search of people to protect and evil to purge. In that sense, I suspect our walks of life are not so different. How do you know you're real? I overheard the Solitude Guards talking about a woman assembling a crew to track down her lost parents. As someone who lost his father at a young age, I could empathize. And as a Knight of the Thorn, I recognized my sworn duty to offer my sword to those in need. The choice was clear. Knight of the Thorn? I know what you're thinking. But our order has made substantial progress since its founding. We're no longer the inept kinship of drunken derelicts our reputation would indicate. We're a league of disciplined and virtuous warriors now. I'm getting flashbacks. Was that was that an oblivion thing? Maybe it was. Maybe like uh I'm getting flashbacks to some mission in Oblivion where you have to take some guy on a quest into, like, an Oblivion gate or something and they're all, like, horribly terrible and they all die or something. Something like that. I don't know. It's been a long time since I've done that quest. Whatever it was. Can you hold your own in a fight? Well, we already know he can. But let's see what he has to say. I'll do what's necessary to defend the innocent. So long as our beliefs do not find themselves in opposition, you can count on my support. I should go. Of course, Dovahkeen. It was an honor to speak with you. Here's a new person. Hello. Okay, her name is Tia. Hello. By Talos. Are you really the dragonborn of ancient Nordic legend? The one who killed the fearsome dragon of Whiterun with just a mere glance of disapproval? Oh, and is it true that you can consume 30 cheese wheels mid-combat without breaking a sweat? And what about the rumor that you can ride a horse completely perpendicular? This is so exciting. Yeah, yes, yes, and yes, I did do all those. <laughs> That's incredible! Imagine the look on my little sister's face when I tell her I spoke with THE Dragonborn. She won't believe it! Ugh, I could think of at least a hundred novels that could be derived from your adventures. Yeah, just wait till you actually see me eat those 30 wheel cheese wheels mid-combat. I'm gonna do it just for you. Alright, <laughs> how do you know Uriel? I'm a writer, you see. Tia Alto, at your service. When I heard about your sister's adventure, I thought it'd be a great opportunity for some ideas for my latest novel. Maiden of the Sea, the romantic tale of a princess who voyages into the unknown to find a cure for her sickly sister. I can't wait to get started on it. But of course, I have to allow myself to experience her journey firsthand so that I could better connect with my readers. What do you think? Uh, okay. Both of those are rude. Sounds like a good idea. Good luck with that. 
No, there's only one good option here. The rest are pretty rude. Thanks. I don't like the concept of writing on topics I haven't first experienced. I think too many authors cheat their audience that way. My sister's a dragonborn too. Can you hold your own in a fight? My sister's a dragonborn too. Well, she is and she kind of isn't, you know, I mean, have you asked her how many dragons she's killed? Spoiler, it's not a lot. Can you hold your own in a fight? What do you mean? Like an argument? An actual fight with sharp things. Oh, I, I don't know. Um, I've had some training with a bow and arrow in the past. I can give it a try, I guess. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? Okay, so you're an archer. Good enough. See you around. All right, goodbye. But yeah, she's got... Like, you can tell they spent a lot of time on this character. Like, she's got a whole unique outfit. Fancy oh. hair and all that. Like, definitely, definitely a good design. Probably the most unique design so far. Like, this guy kind of has a unique design, but at the same time, like I said, it also is very much just of a Stora. Like, Roland of the Thorn, <laughs> it's really Roland of a Stora. But, but it's fine. It's fine. It looks good. Hayden. Yeah, Hayden here, though. <laughs> just his basic hide armor. Surprised, like he looks like killable like off, right? When you look at everybody else and what they're up to, he's the one that looks like he's gonna get killed off in a plot sequence. At your service. Welcome aboard, my friend. I don't believe we were able to get properly acquainted earlier. Name's Hayden. I'm the pilot of this vessel. How do you know Uriel? Ah, now that's a fascinating story. She burst into the winking skeever late one evening as if a dragon were in pursuit. Told everyone she was looking to hire a ship to venture to the border of Hammerfell, and for a mere 5,000 septums at that. Everyone else laughed. But you didn't. Of course not. I had a mouthful of spiced wine at the time. You were the only one willing to help her? I was the only one drunk enough to think it was a jest, so I played along. Turns out it wasn't, and well, here I am. Captain of the newly acquired SS Deficit at your service. Newly acquired? Oh, right. Must have left that part out. You see, uh, how do I put this? I didn't exactly have a ship when I made the offer, and uh, technically, I still don't. Then whose ship are we on? I aim not to find out, my friend. Which is why I'd suggest departing as soon as we can, if you don't mind the request. The guards are getting suspicious. Okay, we're literally stealing a ship. Can you hold your own in a fight? I'm better at talking my way out of one. But... I did serve in the Imperial Legion for a short period. I'll draw my sword for you, should the need arise. How was life in the Legion? I'd rather not say, if you don't mind. There are plenty of other things to talk about. All right, bye. The sooner we leave, the better. Just as a reminder. Searching for something? I hope you know earlier was just a precaution. Nothing personal. Why do you hate werewolves and vampires? It's not just werewolves and vampires. I am disgusted by any abominations that prey on mortals. 
My order was founded following the Oblivion Crisis to prevent any similar disasters from engulfing the world again. I take that obligation very seriously. Can you hold your own in a fight? I have years of experience hunting the many horrors of this world, taking everything from witches to werewolves into the light. If it's a skilled combatant you're searching for, you need look no further. Don't let me keep you. How oh, would you like the Wardens of the Coast romance dialogue handled? Disable all, will hide all romance dialogue. Males will enable romance dialogues with males. Females, same thing, enable all. Uh, we'll do females. Okay, we didn't actually get yes. that one dialogue option. Searching for something? Oh, I guess it's gone. We can't ask oh, her how okay. she knows our sister now. Too bad. Need something? Okay. Don't mind that imp that's just full well, two two imps that are frozen. Don't mind Sweet those. Will. Best rouse yourself. You're needed above deck. Oh god. Vision so terrible. It's a Jade? Who's Jade? Where is she? Why are we taking on water? All right, come on. Out of my way, Lydia. Okay, whose room is this? Dear God. Okay. Wonder who sleeps there. Port side, port side. I see it. This thing doesn't turn on a septum. Everyone, hold on to something. Oh dear God! And we're all dead. Everyone okay? I don't think my arm is supposed to bend like that. How did this happen? And how far off course are we? We're not. What do you mean? I mean, this island doesn't exist. It's not on the map. There's nothing but open waters for 500 miles. Evidently not. This is what we get for hiring a drunk as a pilot. You want to check the atlas? Be my guest, Valor boy. Bickering amongst yourselves won't solve anything. We need to assess the damage. Yeah? Okay, maybe maybe I just misread the, the name of whoever it was that woke me up. This is an awful weird way to steer a ship, though. You okay, bud? What is it? Well, something wrong. Yeah, that's bad. How does it look? Do you think it will leak? <laughs> oh, my God.
Didn't happen to pack a second ship, did ya? I could barely afford this one. Why? Is it that bad? There's a massive hole. Just our luck. Well, I suppose we should take a look around. If this place is inhabited, there should be somewhere to buy materials for a repair. Take who you want with you. The rest of us will stay here and keep an eye out for anything looking to profit of our misfortune. I'll see what I can find. I'll tell the others that you're in charge until we can correct this situation. If they give you any lip, let me know. Oh, and don't take any unnecessary risks out there, okay? I'll try not to. Thanks. I'd rather not lose you out wherever we are. You selected party. Okay. Iriel, Roland, and Hayden. We're gonna take... Dia, and then we're gonna get rid of Roland, too. Let's take all the girls. You can change your party at any time by exiting the SS Deficit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's test it out. Group, come on over. Okay. All right, here's our squad. And what's our what's our quest? Find a way off the island. Okay, they're dead. Oh god, I'm almost dead. I should put my helmet on. block good work everybody these shells is that the Andre flame atronach these shells the the uh the currency here or something Okay. All right, this is what it looks like on the map. The little island, okay. Standard loot. Okay, moving on then. All right, that looks like a real city. What's with the cactuses?
Okay, let's yes. see. Yes? Yes? You know of anyone who can interpret dreams? I don't know why I'm asking that. Where can I purchase materials for to repair a shipwreck? Well, I guess I did have that weird dream, but we'll ask this first. Ah, newcomer, is it? Here's some advice. Don't bother. You're stuck here until the day you die. The least you can do is accept it. Okay, what about dreams? Get away from me! Oh, well. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Need something? What might... Is there something I can do for you? Got something to say? You Why? want something from me? Is there something I can do for you? I remember when I was optimistic about an escape. Give it time. You'll accept reality. Take care now. <laughs> I don't want to ask him. Like, it's lit up, so I know what he's gonna... Tidings. Yeah, I know he's gonna have a unique answer if I ask him about dreams, but... Hmm. Is there something I can do for you? What do you need? You could try the trader from the Norstead village. I'm told he has a larger selection than most. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. What do you need? Of course. Oh, did you need a shipwreck? Ooh, how to say this. You're stuck here, my friend. No one gets off this island. I mean, there doesn't seem to be much reason to, to keep favor with these people. It's not like they're selling anything, so... Stay back, demon spawn. I'd better get going. Okay, stay yes. back, demon spawn. Got something to say? Is there something I can do for you? I? Huh. <laughs> Daedra worshipping filth. Goodbye. They oh, hate it. Exist. How can I assist? Look, keep your voice down. That's not something I'd talk about if I were you. Why not? Just keep your distance, okay? Take care now. What do you okay, still nobody had Thomas. answers. Hmm? If that's possible out here. Is there something I can do for you? What yeah. can I do for you? All right, let's uh, let's just go. To the map marker. I don't know if I'm a high enough level to deal with with Daedra though. Like we've been having some trouble just with basic bandits. The Daedra are gonna mess me up. Whenever we get to fight those. There's the bear. I, I thought I heard one. This island has palm trees, bamboo trees, cactuses, and pandas. Is that pan is that panda dead? No, it went it went to sleep. Okay, it's a nice bear. Okay. Shame. No. I was hoping they'd make it too. Why? We told them this would happen. It's their fault for succumbing to hope. Something you need? Speak quickly. What happened? The damned fools thought Dagon's curse was a myth. Their bodies just washed ashore. Dagon's curse? The barrier that keeps us trapped on this isle. Hundreds have attempted to break it. They end up like this lot every time. Is this a bad time to ask if you know a way off the island? <laughs> Do you not see what happened to these miserable sods? Nobody escapes this place. Look, do you know a way out, <laughs> way or not? But 
that. You might ask Tassius, our priest of Arche. It's rumored he has a theory on how to avert the curse. Where is he? He's busy preparing the rites for these fools. He'll be in his hut when he finishes. You could wait for him there. Oh, they got some good stuff on them. Make it quick. Yeah. You want something from me? I'm rich. I got so many seashells. Speak quickly. You want something from me? Okay. I see you. There is no respite from the hand of destiny. Are you all right? You look terrible. More so than usual. Oh, wait. Uh, that that came out wrong. Something uh. wrong? You spaced out for a few minutes. From the screams, I suspect the village is under attack. It's another one. Die from that. Die from that. Oh, God, what's going on? Okay, good thing the imps are just... Oh, no, they're not. They're not broken. Oh, no, I've drawn the aggro of so many. Heal great sword of embers. Taking all these demon hearts. I'm gonna kill me! Oh god! Oh no, all the way back here? Damn it, I should have saved as soon as I woke up. Alright, we won't piss off the, uh, the islanders now. We won't decrease our reputation by asking them about the dreams. Well, hello. What? A shipwreck? Ooh, how to say this. You're stuck here, my friend. No one gets off this island. What can I do for you? I remember when I was optimistic about an escape. What do you need? Time. You look ah, set newcomer, reactive. is it? Here's some yes. advice. Is there something I can do Don't for you? Don't bother. Could have asked. You're stuck here until the day you die. The least you can do is accept it. How can I assist? Speak quickly. Hi. Why, well, hello. Yes. You could try the trader from the Norstead village. There we go. I'm told he has a larger selection than most. Hello, river crabs. So sorry my companions saw you as a threat to me and killed you. Oh, jeez. Okay. Is there a volcano up there? That looks like like a falling lava rock to me. Shame. Uh, I was hoping they'd make it too. Why? We told them this would happen. 
Is there? Oh, first up coming. Hey, despite how pessimistic that guy was in our conversation, I didn't, I didn't realize he said that he was Atronach nails. He was hoping they would make it through. What do you want? What might you need? Definitely makes him seem less pessimistic that he that he was actually had hope that they would have made it out. The damned fools thought Dagon's cut the barrier that keeps us trapped. Ha! Do you not see what No, but he's busy preparing the rights for these fools. Or was it even him? Was it this guy that said it? Yes? I see you. I see you too. There is no respite from the hand of destiny. Dova, are you alright? You look terrible. More so than usual. Oh, wait! That. That came out wrong. Something wrong? Spaced out for a few minutes. From the screams, I suspect the village is under attack. I've got your back. Sure. Okay, all right. Come on, ladies. Out to battle. All right, come on. Come on. Oh, man. Well... Hey, I got one! Okay, let me just heal up a little bit. I'll clear out the ads before dealing with that guy. Oh, I guess they're all dead. The unarmed guy, the punch punch man there did it. Oh no, that guy's alive. Oh, okay. Oh, hello. Our losses may have been double without it. Are you the priest of RK? Or what was that an oblivion gate? Aye, like the tales of old. A portal between Mundus and the plains of oblivion, crafted by the danger Lord Mayrun's Dagon himself. I thought all the gates closed when the oblivion crisis ended. They had, for the rest of them. But the crisis still thrives here. Exercising its malice and cruelty long after its owner's expulsion. How is that possible? Everyone has their theories. Some say a member of the Mythic Dawn sold the island to Dagon for a high status in paradise. Others claim that Martin Septum never banished the Daedric Lord to oblivion, but to this peninsula instead. There are other, more absurd speculations, of course, but. Ultimately, none of these hypotheses have enough evidence to support them. No one knows for certain where the gates returned. Are there patterns to these gates opening? 
I used to only appear every few years, but now things are escalating. And those of us who've been around for a while know this can only mean one thing. The reaping will soon dawn. The reaping? An event that occurs every 30 years or so, when Dagon sends his minions to decimate the souls of three quarters of the island's population. Admittedly, my knowledge of the event is limited. There are others here that I can tell you more. The Daedra just kill people and leave? Yes, but only a fraction of us. It's as if they're only interested in trimming the populace. It's a very peculiar behavior for the danger and lot of destruction to have. My tribe and I are still uncertain of the meaning. Are there patterns to who they spare? For a time, we thought the reaping would pass off the day on support us, but that hypothesis was quickly debunked. It seems as if they kill anything in that path until the quota is met. Now, these are but my own speculations, of course. I'm no authority on the event. I was told you have a theory on how to break Dagon's curse. I'm afraid there's no theory. Just a small gamble as hope. Only one person has ever made it off the island. A young child who piloted a rowboat past the sea monster, raging storm, and troubled waters, eventually reaching a clearing beyond the curse. Well, or so the story goes. What made her escape different from the rest? She did something the rest of us couldn't. She asked for the help of the warden. The warden? Aye. The Warden of our coast. He's a being of local mythology. Tales claim he resides within the very heart of Mount Andor, granting an audience to only those he deems worthy. It's said the girl struck a deal with this Warden, allowing her safe passage beyond the curse. Local mythology, does this Warden even exist? I've sent many newcomers to his abode. None of them will grant an audience. It is entirely likely that the Wardens either passed away or never existed at all. Few of the certain. What does it mean to, to be granted an audience? Right? Like, surely if someone is there, either granting or denying your request, that, I mean, that's more than mythology, if that's the case. Can you take us to him? Of course. As a member of the Norstead village, I am obligated to provide such hospitality to newcomers. And just be warned, the Warden, should he exist, may not barter with us if we arrive in numbers. You'll need to send one member of your party away for this. Uh, yeah, goodbye, Catchery. I'll mark the spot on your map. Time to collect some Daedra hearts. Tidings. Where is where is Big Blue? Such a waste. God, I hope he's not like hidden in this in this thicket of uh of plant life. I mean surely his body's gotta be somewhere around here. What can I do for you? I don't wanna miss out on whatever whatever loot he what had. Can I do for you?
but I don't see him around. Like, what did we see? We saw we saw Big Blue fighting the fist guy, like, right here. They fought, like, right here. You want something from me? Need something? They didn't go this way, because this is where we fought that guy. Who? You want something from me? Surely they wouldn't have, like, fought over this lip here. There was that big, like, blast at the end, that, like, shout. I wonder if that shout, like, flung the body somewhere. Alright, we'll do one more- we'll do one last check. Doesn't look like the body got, like, flung all the way over here. Let's, like, look in the water a little bit. What the hell? He did that thing where he instantly aggroed the friendly NPCs because he damaged them too much. Or, or is that not what just happened? I can't tell. <laughs> One last check in the water. Don't see him. Oh well, guess whatever the blue guy had, we're not gonna get to know about. Where is this place we're going to? Oh, it's pretty close. It's not very far at all. Everybody just teleported to me. Let's hope this isn't a dead end. Maybe we should knock? If the legend told true, he knows we're here. Whether or not he grants us entry remains to be seen. We have our answer. Oh wow, one of the imp's bodies flew all the way over here somehow. Hmm? Okay, so no new no new dialogue. All right then. Need something? Some of the others are calling me Dobo. Why is this? Would you rather they call you Dova King all the time? That's a lot of syllables to call out when they're in trouble, don't you think? I just don't think it feeds. Doba means dragon in Dobazul. Whose dense idea was this? That's rude. Doba is only one less syllable. Well, survival and demise are only a syllable away. Okay, all right. That was terrible. We can't possibly be related. Okay, I'll admit it. Not my wittiest retort. This sounds weird, but I had a dream about the island before we crashed. You're sure it was this island? That would be a strange coincidence. Certain. I see. What happened in this vision? Daedra, we're descending the mountain. Kind of vague, don't you think? Did you see anything that might set this event in motion? Nope. Well, I don't know if you believe in things like foresight or prophecy, but I'd rather not stick around long enough to find out. We should get those materials or a new vessel and get off this rock as quickly as we can. You think someone on the island could interpret this? Possibly. If you find the time to ask around, go for it. 
But our priority should remain discovering a method of escape. Yeah, I should have had this uh, conversation with her before we <laughs> fought those demons. If you have any more of these dreams, let me know. They are a little too coincidental to be dismissed. Was anyone else below deck before the ship crashed? Not that I recall. The others heard the commotion and came up before we struck land. Why? Are you saying you saw someone down there? Yes, but I didn't get a good look at her. Okay, so it was some mysterious new person. Her? Well, it wasn't Katri or Tia. They were upstairs with me. You could try looking around. It's quite possible we picked up a stowaway. Okay, moving on. Then. Could have asked. Okay, lava. from my dreams that's kind of weird dreams surely you've had them as well the visions the signs of what has passed and what will pass again but can you tell me about these dreams so it's true the dragonborn of legend is one of my time I have waited decades for your arrival these visions, they are part of the merging process. Merging process! The island has chosen you as her champion. Your fate is melding with hers as one through the sacred binds of prophecy. These visions are a result of the unification. To put it in simpler terms, you were destined to come here. I was told you've helped others escape the island. I've set a few individuals down that road, yes. Only one never made it to the other side. Even then, the cost was substantial. What did it cost? When you cheat destiny, it will exact its vengeance. Relentlessly and without mercy. You would pay a heavy price if following in her footsteps. But why concern yourself with escape at all? Your future is here. Destiny has made its demand. Show me the way out or I'll punch you into the heart of this volcano. I know that look. You're set in your ways. No spoken word can dissuade you. Even so... I cannot grant passage beyond the curse to anyone who simply asks for it. Help the people of my island, de-escalate the hatred they harbor for one another, and lead them to make amends. Do this, and I will show you the way home. Long as it gets me home. Then be off, and do not return until you have aided my people. Is 
I mean, he calls them his people. But I mean, how long has it been since he's like actually interacted with any of them? Or he's just sitting up here in this volcano. They weren't even sure he was real. Jeez, game, make me, <laughs> making me walk all the way out. I'd like to stick around you and your crew for a little while longer, if you don't mind. It sounds like you'll be working to better the lives of many of my friends and neighbors. I'd like to assist with that if I can. Uh. Welcome to the crew. I appreciate your hospitality. I hope I might become a boon to the course. We're immediately going to swap them out. And I want to see our sister recommended. Busy, I hope. Our sister recommended actually looking around down here. See if we could possibly find the the person that was talking to me. Probably a plot thing, so we probably won't. At your service. Oh, is this your room? Oh dear God, man! Well, well. There she is. You must be this Dova Keen everyone's so infatuated with. The Nords must have exaggerated your ferocity. You don't look like much to me. Please let me let me take two steps to the left of you, so you don't have to bend your neck like that. Who are you? The name's Jade, but you needn't remember it. I won't be around for long. What are you doing on the ship? Your ship? Does Hayden know you call it that? In either case, you see how I'm clad. Take a guess. We're on a Dark Brotherhood contract. One that's run into somewhat of an abrupt delay. Needless to say, being marooned on a desolate wasteland wasn't in the contract I signed. Seeing as we're stuck in the same boat, I'm thinking we can help each other. I'll temporarily extend my services to you and your crew, and in return, you'll lend me a cabin for the return journey. I thought the Brotherhood was extinct in all but Skyrim. Who is your contract for? Why not just stow away on the journey home too? Is the contract for me? We'll just have to wait and see, won't we? I thought the Brotherhood was extinct in all but Skyrim. Which means we're doing our jobs. I'll let you in on a little secret. The Brotherhood is weaker, to be sure, but not dead. Merely scattered and independent of each other. Mine operates in complete secrecy to all but the highest bidders. Okay, I should go. You do that. Something you need? That was cool. I don't know if I've ever seen that animation of them actually getting down from that position. What? Hello again. Something on your mind? Yes, I suppose there is. A crew member of yours approached me with a contract earlier. You want in on it? Want my help? I want insurance. 
There's no guarantee you won't repair the ship and set sail while I'm away. As long as you're within earshot, I have the possibility of getting off this rock. Our ship is still a long way from being fixed. Yes, you and your sister are quite fond of saying that. I'm in, but only if we split the payment. Of course. I'm an assassin, not a thief. When the body drops, you'll get your share. I'll even let you pick between septums or the local currency. Which of my companions hired you? Trade secret, Dova. I don't disclose the identities of my clients. Is it the same person you originally came here to kill? As convenient as that would be, no. This one is for a local resident. Could you give me a hint? The hint is that I don't disclose their identities. They just offered compensation for a hit. There's no need to bring the Night Mother into this. He's not gonna answer. He supplies the neighborhood with moon sugar. It's the secret ingredient in Old Crescent, this island's attempt at a potable rum. Problem is, no one's seen this drug peddler in over five years. Nobody that's willing to talk, at least. That makes locating his whereabouts our first order of business. Why is he hiding? Is moon sugar even illegal on this island? What's your plan? To get his attention, we'll need to put a dent in his earnings. And what better way of doing so than by neutralizing his distributors? He'll be desperate to fill those positions promptly. After that, all we need to do to find him is to apply. You know where these distributors are? Not yet. But they'll be easier to locate than the target is. As soon as I have something, I'll let you know. <laughs> okay. Hello. Yeah, we're definitely taking her with us. 100, 100%. Goodbye, Tassius. Why do the Daedra leave your village alone? If I had a seashell for every time someone asked that, I'll tell you what I told him. No one is certain why. We just know that it is so. But the lies, you know something? Surely, if I knew why, I'd tell the rest of the island. The only thing I know for certain is that Dagon does not approve of us accepting refugees from other villages. Two rapings ago, when we did just that, the gates opened right over us. That aside, it is as much a mystery to me as it is to the rest of the Isle. Anything you need help with? I suppose there's no harm in asking. The elder from the Norstad village has become... Aggressive over these recent gate openings. With no one else to blame, she points the finger at those who are more fortunate. She's even gone as far as to express interest in raiding my people to satiate her twisted sense of justice. 
the only way to ensure their safety is to remove her from the equation, if you catch my meaning. You want me to kill her? Certainly not. Such a peculiar assumption. But if she were to somehow mysteriously keel over, there could be a reward available for you. Okay, uh, well, I mean... Ah, good to hear. This is all hypothetical, of course. I know only what has happened, not why. Be at peace. Dagon has spared us so far. We'll go see what the other one wanted. Okay, there's just an oblivion gate there. I can't go through the gate like in real oblivion, right? Nope. Let's say closed portal. Oh. One more down. Oh, big scary guy. Okay, imp down. Oh god, not good. Somebody else. Where's everybody else? Fall to me. Oh, she paralyzed him. There we go. So that's why. Can't loot them because their bodies blow up. wrong unbelievable another Kate that threatens the safety of my people this is the fourth one in a week 
Sounds as if you're being targeted. I'll tell you who's responsible. We all know the reaping is nearly upon us, and with it, the number of active gates have multiplied immensely. Everyone has to keep their heads on a swivel. Everyone except those accursed West folks. The last iteration of the reaping passed over them, and they've suffered no losses to Daedra since. They know something that we don't. I suppose, given their troubled history, that should come as no surprise. What do you mean? During the Oblivion Crisis, a member from their village sold his soul to Mirun's Dagon to save the island. A deal that would spare us his wrath by staggering its destruction, killing three quarters of the population every 30 years or so. In return, he would serve Dagon until death. The man responsible for the reaping was a Westfolk. And now, as the reaping dawns once more, his old village goes about unscathed? That cannot be dismissed as coincidence. That's not all, their elder asked me to kill you. What? The audacity of that scheming snake. You refused, I assume? I wouldn't have warned you otherwise. Yes, I suppose not. I will not overlook this treachery. Orders to assassinate the elder of a neighboring village will be met with one response. Invasion. Come now. I'll gather my people, then we'll march upon those murderous cowards. Oh, okay. What can I do for you? This this is how this is what that guy wanted me to do. When the warden of the coast said help my followers, the first thing I do is I set them on the war path. All right, guess we're doing this. People of the North, the time has come. For too long have our neighbors profited off our sacrifices, off the blood of our fallen brothers and sisters. And how do they repay us? By hiring mercenaries to assassinate them. Gather your bows, unsheath your blades. We march to assault our enemy's village. All right, this is a crazy escalation. You know, when he when the guy asked me to help them, I thought they were thought it was going to be something much more simple. Maybe some other kind of problem. they were facing, or maybe just defend them from some demons or something. But, oh well. Oh my god. I feel like maybe killing that elder would have been the better choice. Because now an entire village is gonna die because of it. These are like normal citizens. It's telling me to, to, to kill these like, these fleeing women. Alright bud. Well, somebody got him. Oh no, I'm dying! All right, good job. You did it. Is that a ring of health?
Oh, that's nice. What might you need? Okay. Why are they just leaving? Yes. How can I assist? You've got a name. Makes him seem like he might be more important. Speak quickly. I mean... He killed all the aggressive ones, but it didn't didn't update the mission. Still saying attack these people. What might you need? Is there something I can do for you? What can I do for you? Wipe out the West Folk. Oh my god. Help the Norsteed Villager or West Villager. This is called Hero of the People. West is so fucked. You want something from me? Tidings. Okay, well, I mean, is there we've there already started. Out with it. Ah! Your mind. Don't worry about the blood. You won't care much longer. <laughs> Did you see that? Uh, that was when I was having fun. Oh my god, that guy's just swimming out into open water. Hoping to get away. Hey, bud. You're gonna have to come to shore. We can't kill you when you're out here like this. No, Jade... Okay. Okay. Okay, so that was not the right... Oh man, I gotta go all the way back to the, the demon... the demon thing. So that was not the right way to handle the mission. Apparently. Barely, barely blocked that. That's a very angry panda. Oh! Get him, panda. The panda's on our side.
Okay, good job, Panda. Go on, get the other guy now. Go get the boss. There you go. Okay, that's not good. Get up, get up, get up. You got good aim. Oh no! Oh no, not here. Damn it, I should have saved before I talked to that lady. Never did I think it was gonna the quest was gonna take that kind of turn. All right, I'm just gonna assist. I'm gonna keep an eye on the companions to make sure they all stay up. Got her. Okay, Jade is still good. Gotta get Jade. There's a lot of dead demons right there. Come on, search the body. I did it. So it doesn't actually like. All over now. You good, dude? How can I assist? Did I already mess up the quest though? Like, was the was the proper response to the quest saying no to that guy? The guy was just keeping the options open, but maybe I should have said no to him. Whatever, we're gonna leave this quest for now. Oh, here he is. This must have been- okay, so when he died, he flew all the way over to here. We found the second one, okay. Very good. Okay, now we're gonna go to here. Looks like the easiest way to do this is just kind of hug the outside of the island. Seems to be the easy enough way to do it. That's a tiger. Oh God. Why do they, is that tiger on their side? What's happening here? I'm glad that that managed to stagger the tiger. Oh, 
God. It is a tame tiger. Okay, I'm dying, but I have my level up. Can I still have those items as well? Not the ring, but I got that. All right. Uh, okay. Okay, these people are tough. Everyone else is still up. That's good. There we go. You're gonna have to teach me how to do that. Ah, oh, jeez, it's getting peppered. Get up. There's Lydia. Lydia didn't die at some point, did she? Lost her in the tall grass. There she is. She flew all the way over there. Oh, wow, she got it rough. Yep, we got these three. I don't know. Don't know where Lydia went. For all I know, she died. Which, if she did, it would be nice if we find her so I can give the blade's armor to Iriel. Am I not meant to climb up this? I was trying to climb up this, and it feels like it's really fighting me. Yeah, there's like an invisible wall around it. There is... Okay. We can go this way. I'm really worried I, I messed up that quest just by saying... Yes, like... I, I thought maybe it would, like, give me an option to change my mind. Like, I was just playing along. I wasn't gonna... Even though I said yes, that doesn't mean I'm actually gonna do it. But I'm, I hope I'm not, like, locked in now. Like, I hope I didn't miss something else by not saying no. Okay, dead dragon. How goes the construction? 
We are ahead of schedule, sir. At this pace, I expect our defenses will be operational for a few short weeks. The sooner the better. Gates have begun opening at an accelerated pace. Make no mistake, the reaping will soon dawn. All will be ready, sir. Dagon's seat will crumble at the forefront of our ramparts. You've worked tirelessly to get us here. Time may be of the essence, but fatigue will only impede our progress. We'll pick up again tomorrow. Hey! Yes. What are you building? Our neighbors to the south may have the intellect of a moldy sweet roll, but they've managed to get one thing right. This recent wave of Oblivion Gates is no coincidence. The reaping is nearly upon us. And yet how do they respond? They throw up their hands and ask mercy from the Daedric Lord of Destruction. As if Dagon cares at all for their pleas. They paint this half of the island as an easy target for a Daedric invasion. Well, he can sacrifice his people if he wants, but I'll make no such offering of mine. Anything I can help with? Yes. But this stays between the two of us. The Southern's Elder is a threat to the safety of my people. I've seen him watching us as we construct our defenses. I suspect he might be developing a plan to sabotage them. I want you to silence him before he's afforded the opportunity. I want no part in committing murder. Very well. I trust you can at least keep our plans a secret. What is it? Let's continue on. All right, let's talk to the last village and then I will convene with the party. is over. The time of cleansing is at hand. Hear us, O great Lord Dagon. Hear our plea for mercy from the punishment incited by our neighbor's sins. Please, O Lord, do not let their defiance bring into question our unshakable devotion to your name. We offer you this sacrifice, this symbol of our goodwill, O Dagon the Magnificent. May her death spare the many souls of your loyal devotees. Dawn is breaking. Greet the new day. Greet the new day. <laughs> what? That voice. Greet the new day. Speak. Yield or suffer. Did I ruin it? What the hell just happened?
Okay, let's let's see now. I'll save right here. The time of preparation is over. The yeah. Time of cleansing is at hand. <laughs> yeah, she's so unconcerned they about being so sacrificed. Great, yes. Great is there anything this village needs help with? There is a matter of great concern among my children. Our neighbors, the aliens, actively work to oppose our beliefs. Recently, they have been seen constructing defenses to protect themselves against the reaping. Fools. They cannot hope to hold out against Dagon's warriors. If their defiance draws the Daedra to this side of the island, they endanger my people as well. The last thing I need is for the Great Lord to mistake my children for those wretched defilers. I need someone to sabotage their defenses, burn their provocation to the ground. Show the Daedra that this side of the island will not incite violence. I'm gonna discuss with my companions. Discuss away. My children and I will await your verdict. Okay. What do you want? Hmm. That's a tough one. I can't help but feel that alien swallows invite conflict. I may not have too many dealings with the Daedra, but they don't seem like the type to take the least path of resistance. I think they'll see those defenses as a challenge. If I had to choose, I'd pick the Sutherans. I mean... The Westfolk Elder doesn't even know why his village has been spared. Clearly, the Norse are just jealous. Okay, so I think I've established the characters for my novel. I know you're supposed to write a little yourself into the work. So, I've made myself the beautiful princess trapped in a lonely tower by her strict and unstable father. I even made you a character too! <laughs> I hope you don't mind. Anyway, <clears throat> the plot follows our princess as she wishes upon a dying star, asking the divines to cure the ailment of her dying sister. When, all of a sudden, a handsome knight comes riding to meet her. <laughs> That's my character, I assume? What? No, you're the lovably quirky yet undeniably clumsy chambermaid. Why a chambermaid? She wasn't always a maid. Back before her accident, she was a legendary sailor and a treasure hunter. The entire kingdom knew of and adored her adventures. Her accident? Oh, <clears throat> right. I uh, forgot to mention her backstory. She nearly drowned at sea before being rescued by her crew. And ever since then, she's been terrified of the open sea. You're writing me as a woman? That's what you got out of it? Ugh. Men. <laughs> well, it's your story. Right. So, the knight informs our princess that a cure exists for her sister's rare disease. But it rests on the island riddled with pirates and cannibals. The king forbids our princess to go... <laughs> but she sneaks out anyway, with the help of the chambermaid, and plans to sail off and find the cure and... Uh, well, that's all there is at this point. I know it's not much, but what do you think? Uh, yeah, good start. Thanks. The coast out here works wonders for inspiration. I think I'll have more ready sooner than expected. Let's see, what do you have to say? Hello. Don't get me wrong, I think the Southern's methods are... questionable, at best. But at least we won't be directly involved with murder if we take their side. 
I doubt the warden would be pleased if we kill off the very same villagers he instructed us to help. The Norse would have us murder an entire village. I cannot side with such madness. Farewell. Good morning. Forgive me if this isn't the place to ask, but what's it like? Being a hero, I mean. Is it every bit as magnificent as the legends make it out to be? Uh, okay. Now that you're Dragon Ball 2, I hope to pawn off my responsibilities. Not what you think. Most people don't even recognize me as their savior. Honor and glory. I never asked for it. I'd rather be normal. Yeah, we're gonna pawn off our responsibilities on her. One day I'll be capable enough to accept such an illustrious offer. But as it stands, I know very little of dragon slaying. I think it'd be best if you retained the title for now. Why do you ask? If you haven't already guessed, I want to be like you one day. To have such limitless power at the forefront of my tongue. There'd be no end to the good deeds I could achieve. Tyrants would concede their sovereignty. Dragons would fall at my feet. And the people I care about would never know danger. Okay, why not commit evil deeds instead? Nobility is t trivial and uninspiring. You'd have more potential for evil. Pursuit of power isn't a virtuous plight. I hope you succeed. The world needs more heroes. You seem eager to make... To take my place. Well, well, this is the nice one. And it's a no short supplies of evildoers, outlaws, or monsters. I shudder to imagine a Nern without people like us to put them in check. You know, I can definitely see what they mean by Bioware style, where like that, like half of the responses are like evil as evil can be. Like you're like actually unhinged. Well, my limited arsenal of shouts is one thing. Experience in dragon slaying another. But those should be easy hurdles to overcome, right? Oh, it's nothing like that. I was just thinking about what's left for me when this is all over. Once we found our parents and returned to solitude, I'd like to stay in Skyrim for a while, as a student of yours, if you'd have me. We could be the dynamic duo of dragon slaying. I could use the help. Great! No dragon will be safe with the two of us roaming the province. We'll put a swift and precise end to the horror. Let's focus on getting off the island first. Fair enough. But maybe you could answer something else for me first. Yeah, what is it? I'm trying to become more proficient with my Thuum, but one thing keeps holding me back. How do we learn additional shouts? I've had the same two variations since birth. Absorb knowledge of the voice through the souls of dragons. Directly from their souls? Hmm. That explains why I haven't made any notable progress. You've known your shouts from birth? Of course. Isn't that what being dragonborn means? Why, are, are you saying you didn't come into the world with this ability? No, I had to slay a dragon first. Really? Huh. Maybe that means my powers are superior. Yeah, right. And how many dragons have you killed Not again? Fair. It's not my fault I wasn't in Skyrim for the zenith of the Dragon Crisis. I have yet to see one of those creatures up close. Or at all, for that matter. All I hear are excuses. Alright, Mr. Right Time, Right Place. If we ever make it out of here, I'll challenge you to a dragon killing contest. Loser has to surrender half the gold in their coffers. Okay, you're on. <laughs> You'd better start refining your skills. 
Being outperformed by your baby sister isn't something I'd let you live down. Of course, this is all for naught if we don't find a way home first. Don't you still want to find our parents? That's what I meant by home. Do you still want to? Might as well we've come this far after all. <sighs> Good to hear. I know this trip hasn't exactly gone to plan, but as long as we stick to our primary goal, I'm certain we'll reach it eventually. Okay. You talk to Jade as well, but... Let's see. Why, hello. And that is... It will be done. Go then, my child. May you spare us from chaos and destruction. All right, well... What do you want? Yeah, this is definitely a this is definitely a weird island. Go help the people and all the all the people, everything they want is fucked up. But I mean I guess what would you expect from Oh, I didn't get the I didn't get the map marker for them over here. What would you expect from a an island of people that have lived under under demons for however long? something from me okay when it says burn down the walls what does it actually well let's find out let's go out work a villager saw you do that fine I'll do it sneakily oh they saw me do it No decrease. They didn't see nothing. This really feels like it's going to burn their houses down, too. Okay. So Jay didn't like it. My plan is then we'll do this. We'll go back to the boat. I guess Jade is not going to come. So we don't ruin the Jade reputation. We'll take Katri instead. Could have asked. Where's Katri? 
There she is. Afternoon, Dover. Daedra cannot be reasoned with, and they only grow in power through reverence. The Southerns are not only misled, they're a danger to the entire island, including us. I suspect the Westfolk are in bed with Dagon. Metaphorically, of course. He would not spare them from the reapings without reason. I think it's safe to assume Daedra worship is involved. Okay, never mind. Sure. She's not coming. Yes? Hello. All right, Roland. My apologies. Where is he at? Dovahkiin. There is no honor in sacrificing one's own to appease the Daedra. I'd sooner side with bandits than with people with such a twisted take on justice. If I can, my liege, I'd like to hear both sides out. What? Oh. Right. Something you need? Can something I just not I take that guy? Oh, Lydia! Is there something you need? There You're alive. alive! What do you want? Is Lydia trapped in the boat? Is that what happened to Lydia? She can't make it out of the boat? I'm right behind you. The reaping is more complex than the aliens believe. Walls would do very little to save them. The choice isn't easy, but allow me to suggest siding with the Sutherans. At least with them, you won't be forced into committing murder. I will not hide my bias. The Nors are my kin. Right or wrong, they have my support. All right, then. Okay, well, we'll keep them around. We'll keep them around just for this bit. Right or wrong, they have my support. Dude, they were gonna- they're gonna go murder that whole village. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Now we know. We gotta be sneaky doing this. Oh! Lydia's out! Fantastic. Okay, one down. Run, get out of here. I'm sorry from that. Run, get out of here. Okay, nobody's caught us so far.
Moment of truth. Did it work? All increases. Fantastic. Lydia just running through some through some flames, that's fine. Royal blade, mortal. Oh. I wish to test your alleged merit for myself. One on one. No help from your pets. You're definitely gonna kill me, but your worthiness in combat. If I'm to pledge my servitude to a mortal, I want to know they are deserving of it. Oh. Pledge servitude? What are you talking about? First we duel. Only then will I explain my master's intent. Provided your head is still attached. Okay, stay out of this one, friends. I can handle it. Let only the most worthy prevail. I'll try oh, your no! spine. <laughs> you, know, you gonna do it, Lydia? Hell yeah. That's right. Only the only the only the quest NPCs. Only the quest companions are playing by the rules. his power over me temporarily so that I may ensure your survival. He will not permit your death before the prophecy is fulfilled. Uh, well, I mean, why would I ask? It's obviously Mehrun's Dagon, but... Sure, who is your former master? The Warden of this coast. Oh, never mind. I served his house up until just recently when he assigned me to yours. The Warden has Dramora servants? This surprises you. My former master has many ties with the Daedra. Kind servants are just one of them. So is he the one opening the portals, though? Not even Mayron's? Well, no, we did have that, like, that dream. Never mind. I don't want the help of the Daedra. If you help me, you'll be killing your... <laughs> Your own kind? How do I know I can trust you? What if the Warden orders you to kill me while you're in my service? A kind cannot serve two masters. By the rule of Dagon's hierarchy, I am obligated to fulfill my former master's wishes up to the point of reassignment. Now that you are my master, I am no longer bound by any future orders he might issue. You help me, you'll be killing your own kind. If I manage to kill them, then they are weak and unworthy of their service to Lord Dagon. By thinning the herd, I keep my brother strong, master. It is a great honor. How do I know I can trust you? A kind is constrained to their oaths, master. Mine is to ensure your survival. I will gladly decimate anyone who would harm or even martinly annoy you. Until the prophecy is complete, your safety is my highest priority. All right, wait on the ship. As you wish, master. Okay. What do you want? I don't... 
All right, I don't remember if Jade wanted us to. What do you require, my lord? Okay, Jade. The the village slaughter mission. How are you leaning? Hello. I want to hear both sides first. Okay. Let's continue on. Speak. What do you want? Welcome to the village, traveler. Something wrong? Unbelievable. Another Kate that threatens the safety of my people. This is the fourth one in a week. I'll tell you who's. We all. Know everyone. The last iteration. I suppose. Given their trouble. During a deal that would. We already heard all this. In return, the man. Res that cannot be dismissed as coincidence. What? The audacity. You refused, I assume. I'm uncertain what to make of that. <laughs> I will not overlook this treachery. Orders to assassinate the elder of a neighboring village will be met. Come now, I'll gather my people, then we'll march upon those murderous cowards. There's no dialogue. Like, it doesn't give me an option to tell her no. Just to immediately kill her. Alright, let's just kill her and see what happens. We'll, we'll just guess and check. We'll kill her, see if the whole party approves. And go from there. In what way? Unbelievable. Another Kate that I'll tell you. We all know everyone. The last iteration of the I suppose. During the a deal that in return the man that cannot be dismissed. What? You refused, I assume. Somebody help your mistake. Get her. Please, please don't your kill me. Is mine. Oh my god. I'll shatter your bones like glass. Please, please don't kill me. Oh my god, the random bystander in the hut. Lydia's, Lydia's killing him. Somehow that tree protected her. Okay. They all were fine with that. Yeah, I feel like the messed up thing is that... Like, you, you would think that the option... For, for everybody to get on board with killing her would be after we hear... That a squirrel? That's a weird looking squirrel. You would think the option to to kill her and everybody to be cool with it would be after we hear that she wants us all to go kill them. Chill out, bear. Did I accidentally break the quest? We're exposed out here. Too bad. Listen, about that crew member of yours I came here to kill. When it happens, you understand it's not personal, right?
Of course, it's just business. I hope it's... What's his name? Holden? The, the guy that stole the boat? I hope it's him. Good. Against my better judgment, I'm starting to enjoy your company. I'd hate to have a falling out over a simple contract. In other news, two of the moon sugar distributors have been located. We can eliminate them at your earliest convenience. Any recommendations? It might be a good idea to kill them discreetly to not damage your reputation with the locals. But as long as they're dead, I don't care how we go about it. Let's go. Okay. Did you say something? You already know more than I'm pleased with. Look, Dova. You seem like a decent person, but I'm not here to make friends. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Let's see what happens. You heroes aren't exactly my type. Then again, I doubt you're as noble as the tales suggest. Tell you what, keep trying. Maybe I'll make an exception. Fine. Since you're so indecently persistent, what do you want to know? What do you do for fun? And what can I do to win you over? These are the two get to get to know you questions? Okay. My, my. Aren't you direct? Don't get attached. There's nothing more grotesque than a man who catches feelings. That, and I suppose I'm a bit of a sucker for nimble flirtations. The cheesier the better. I see. Aside from killing people? Hmm. That's tough. I guess whenever I'm back at the sanctuary, I enjoy the odd bit of meditation. Not the unadulterated way Sir Roland does it. My meditation is... enhanced. I fill the air with white verimus. An incense that embellishes the senses of relaxation and fulfillment. It's a difficult stimulant to acquire. Had I known my trip would be delayed, I'd have packed a few extra sticks. Can you craft this incense yourself? Not as well as the other members of the sanctuary, but I have the basics down. The main trouble comes from acquiring its ingredients. Once you have them, you can't go wrong. If you say so. Greetings, Dovahkiin. Oh, what the hell? An island so small, you're a difficult man to track down. Who are you? We are followers of Vermina, the rightful ruler of this region. We come to you on our lady's request. There is much she wishes to discuss with you. What does Vermina want with me? In the days of old, before the Oblivion Crisis, this region fell under her domain. Dagon betrayed and overthrew our lady, turning this land into the staging point for his return to power. As the island's champion, she has chosen you to reclaim it. Is Vermina responsible for the dreams I've been having? Dagon corrupted many of Our Lady's powers when he came to dominance. You should trust neither dream nor vision until her power over the island has been restored. A few of you tried to kill me before I left Skyrim. We are aware of your encounter with that rogue. He saw only the death and destruction that await your future, omitting the greater role you will play in Vermina's service. He attempted to challenge destiny, and he paid the price for it. Ah, uh, sure, let's speak to Vermina. All in good time, Dovahkiin. Dagon made great efforts to uproot every source of Vermina's power here. 
Even as devoted followers, we only hear her wishes through faint whispers and riddles. Until we have completed fashioning a new shrine, she will be unable to speak with you. Where will the shrine be located? We will not discuss that here, where Dagon's spies could be lurking behind any nook or shadow. When the shrine is complete, we will send for you. Until then, allow me this word of caution. Vermina is not the only one that desires you as a champion. You mustn't fall for the enticing promises of Maroon's Dagon. He is not as fair or forgiving as our lady. Alright, goodbye. Jaws of Oblivion. Turn of the Warden. Yeah, we could talk to those two some more, but... Let's go back to the, the Warden. I wonder how many times it has us make us make this journey of running through all this to go talk to him throughout this uh, throughout this mod. <laughs> I like how seemingly like the base broke for this one. And he's like, it's fine, it's fine. We'll just leave it. I helped. Yes, I suppose you have. Though I suspect it was not as easy as you make it sound. No doubt with it you were forced to take a side. Help one at the expense of the other. That is good. You will need such fortitude if you are to fulfill your destiny. But that is of little immediate relevance. A new threat has arisen. Gates will begin opening beside the northern and eastern villages. If you do not fend off the Daedra, countless innocents will be lost. Hmm, I think we can count them. There seems to only be like 12 people in each village. So it's either 24 or less than 24. You said you would help me if I aided your people. How do you know when and where the gates will open? Because I opened them. Oh, I did guess right. I did guess right that he was doing it. In that case, you've killed hundreds, perhaps thousands. An accurate observation. I have set events in motion that have claimed the lives of many. It's what destiny has asked of me. Not something I take pride in. Destiny isn't some straw man you can pin your actions on? You're aligned with Dagon? I am his servant, the warden of his prison. When he demands destruction for his resurgence, I comply. I don't choose who perishes, not individually. I merely appoint the location from which their doom emerges. I see. Dagon's gonna ask us to be the next warden, right? That's how this is all gonna end. Why not refuse Dagon's rule? I should kill you right now. And you still want me to defend the villagers. I want you to defend a village. One will suffer, and the other will not. As for which, the choice is yours. Well, nothing phases you, Lydia. You don't care about any of this.
surprised she hasn't just been like, I'm a blade. I can hardly believe it. Who is that? I overheard everything. He gave us exactly what we needed. The time and place the next Oblivion Gate will open. Why do we need to know that? Since we arrived, I started examining every tome on the Oblivion Crisis I could get my hands on. Turns out there's a way to neutralize these portals, using methods discovered by the hero of Kavach in the Third Era. Oh my god, you want me to run through one, don't you? You want me to run through and go grab the, the spinning noisy orb? According to the archives, something called a sigil stone anchors these gates to Mundus. Removing or destroying the stone will sever the portal's connection to our world, dismantling the gate in the process. Trying to get off the island, not close a gate. I mean... Whatever, I would do it. Where, where's the... Okay, let's try it. Dialogue option. Let me ask you something. Do you trust the Warden? No. Then hear me out. The Warden's efforts are folly. Nothing he's tasked us with is getting us any closer to home. I say we take matters into our own hands and break this curse at the source. It's the only way to guarantee a passage off this rock. Is this just an excuse to kill Daedra? And I'll have to remove the sigil stone of each gate? Theoretically. What do you mean by that? Well, it may be smoke and mirrors at this stage, but I have come across several references to what is called an Alpha Gate. I'm uncertain of its nature, but it may be the source from which the other gates draw their power. Of course, the relevance of this gate is minimal at best until we have a way of identifying it. You're certain moving this stone will work? Well, I've never dislodged one personally, but if history can be relied upon, it's our best course of action. Okay. Good day. She probably would love coming along into one of the uh, into one of the gates, but but nope, I've got my team. Yeah, the dead giveaway that he was the one opening the gates definitely was when he sent a Dramora to come hang out with us. Like, wow, you can just do that, huh? Okay. I guess let's go. Let's go defend Norstead. Yeah. Oh, can okay, I not? Can't run in yet. Oh god. Danger. You know what I should do? Yeah, 
got to get out of the water first. Sure, we'll use Staff of Frostbite. Yep, it's working. He's dead. I'm gonna rock. Okay, give me give me your heart. Oh, it's one of those like Zavali guys. Any of my people down? Come on, just die. There we go. Don't you ever die? Oh god. <laughs> don't don't try not to kill the civilian. Get up. Get up. Alright, let's go back around the side. That was safer. Oh god, I'm gonna accidentally kill Lydia. There we go. Out of charge. Give me back my shield. Not even dead. All right, guess we're just gonna ignore oh. him. Stick together. We won't stand half a chance apart. I don't suppose there are many Daedric maids. This place is a mess. Blech. We might be in over our heads on this one. We'll be fine. Oh, oh god, I thought they were one. I thought that was some crazy creature, but it was just an imp in front of a Dremora. Next time, you will get so lucky. Keep it up, Lydia. Good one, Dova.
I wonder if that guy's tough or if he's just a a regular Dramora. Guess we're about to find out. No, he's just a he's just a churl. Got him. You no need to show off. Whoa. Oh, fuck, he killed me. <laughs> All right. Gonna have to take the magic man more seriously this time. He killed me again. All right, I'm just not going to fight that guy. He's too tough. He's too tough. That guy's insta-killing me. Another one this time. Okay, now we're just gonna save here. Oh my god, I'm completely full on Daedra hearts, apparently. Let's see, what have I not tested out of here? Okay, shield up. Maybe now is the time to cast out this staff after I get her up. Oh my god. He does so much damage. Alright, we're pretty close to dead, but... Just gonna move forward and hope for the best.
Oh, it's pointing us back that way. Who knows, maybe this wraps all around and it'll it'll get us to where we're going. <laughs> maybe not. This sure does not seem like the right way now. Definitely not. Let's just go on back. Does it want us to go in here? Maybe. Nope. I wasn't trying to trip you. I swear. Here we go. That lever did not stand out at all. But okay, now that we're in here, where do we go? Anything? Nope, nothing up here. Gonna keep going to the top. That's probably not a real door. Oh my god. Forget what I saw, back away slowly. Oh, they're up there. They can handle it. Okay, we've got now. We now have a bunch of oblivion gates. Oh, that guy's shooting at me. Ah, great. All right, the objective for the the Sigil Stone is way back here, but this is the way the game has been pointing us, so this is the way we're going. There we go, right off the edge. No, block forever. There we go, very good. Everyone's accounted for. Okay, let's get in there. Oh no, it's an, it's another fake door. Never mind. We're still gonna go this way. I thought we were coming on a bunch of portals so we could like use them as gateways, but evidently not.
Oh, he's only got a steel battle axe. Got him. Even though he's got an arrow through his head. I just claim you had the kill even though you stabbed a guy that already is dead because he's got an arrow through his head. Well, this this looks like a uh, a tough group of Dramora, so definitely saving before this. Two down. Complicates things. Well then, anyone know the password? I know this sounds crazy, but I think this bridge is watching us. Oh, it opened. Stay on your guard. Something about this isn't right. I've got a bad feeling about this. You and I both. Okay. No, we still haven't, uh, we still haven't gotten that girl's backstory, or, uh, not backstory, but. <laughs> Let's, I, I'm gonna, I want to talk to her. I want to get more of her story in this, like, really strange setting. We should keep moving. But you have something on your mind. I've finally gotten around to writing your character's first scene. Want to hear it? Yes, definitely. Well. Just before the princess and the chambermaid can set sail, they're confronted by the captain of the king's guard. Having caught wind of the princess's plans, the captain tries to stop her, but the chambermaid steps in and challenges him to a duel. There's a fight between a guard and a maid. Exciting, right? I'd have to say it is. That kind of sounds like it's supposed to be the nice one. Thanks. I figured as much. I think packing the first chapter with a lighthearted scuffle is an excellent way to keep the reader from losing interest. At least until the characters are compelling enough to carry the story on their own. <laughs> anyway, the maid manages to hold her own for longer than expected, but the captain soon gains the upper hand. During the fighting, our quick-thinking princess boards the ship unobserved and takes off. Realizing his mistake, the captain rushes to find a boat to pursue her. In the meantime, the maid runs along the dock, and after some hesitation, she jumps into the water and starts to drown. Oh no! The princess rescues her, and then there's this heart-wrenching scene where the maid tells the princess that no matter what, she'll be there for her. That's what I have so far. What do you think? <laughs> You've made me Sam. You've made me Samwise Gamgee, but in a dress. Is what I think, but... It's an excellent opening act. Thanks. I'm glad you think so. Alright then. Okay. We got a little bit more of her story out. Good 
Goodbye. Archer Brigade is hard at work. Get him, get him, Lydia. Oh, we did it. Okay. No, M doesn't go flying. Curses! The portal leading back just shut. Hope we weren't planning on leaving, cause that's not happening anymore. <laughs> I uh, I have a feeling this was poorly thought out. Fool. Did you think I would craft these portals in the same fashion they were before? Without an operational sigil stone, you are trapped here permanently. Go, underlings. Welcome our guests in a manner befitting my name. Uh-oh. Here was a mistake. I'm all for a tactical retreat, Dova. I'm no expert here, but uh, we should probably run. Oh, okay, we're running? Sure. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> tactically placed. Pool of water, okay. What about everybody else? Oh god, are you just shooting me like that? No, oh, no, run, run, run. Oh jeez. Wow, it brought us on communication, are you? Brought us back here of all places, okay. And he's not there. All right, let's go. Actually, you know what? I think I think that is a good enough place to stop for now. I think we've done a good chunk of this mod. Seeing what it's about. Well, all right. We will see. I definitely... Either I'm going to continue this on the channel, or I will continue it in my free, in my, in my spare time, so I want to see where it goes. But, but all right. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>